Today we're going to be learning to use a hand drill, and we're going to do that by making this really cool Hercules constellation. What's the point of learning how to use a drill if you don't have a mission? So I'm going to give you a mission, all you superheroes out there. We're going to make a really fun, really cool um, Hercules-inspired constellation. So what we're going to do is we're going to drill all of these holes and then um, paint it black so it looks like the night sky. I'm doing this on a piece of quarter inch beach plywood. You can use literally any material, it doesn't matter. You can even use acrylic, it doesn't have to be wood. Do whatever you want. Don't let anything hold you back. You obviously don't have to do Hercules, but I took the image straight from the movie and inverted the colors so that I would have these little black dots in all of the places where the stars are. Uh, I did this in Microsoft Paint, you can do this. You can do this, I believe in you. If you're doing something kind of more artsy like this, um, where it's not just measurements, you can take a printout and tape it onto your workpiece. So we're going to take some tape. So what I've done is just taped my constellation onto my piece of wood like such. You can see, beautiful, fabulous, yay. The next thing you want to do is get a scrap piece of material that is a different consistency and a different color than the material that you're drilling. So that's kind of my favorite trick. Um, and that way you'll know when you've gone through your material because you're hitting this totally random material. The next commandment of drilling is that thou shalt always make your drill completely perpendicular to your workpiece. Perpendicular. If you don't know what perpendicular means, Google it. This is what perpendicular means. Because if you're drilling sideways, then your drill is going to wander. Oh no, here we go. That will happen um, at a very small scale as you're drilling your so all you're going to do is line this up perpendicular, let the weight of the drill hold you down, and gently squeeze the trigger. If you get nothing out of this video, it's safety first. Be safe. No matter what you're doing, be safe about it. So in this case, pretty simple. I'm just going to throw up my beautiful, gorgeous locks. I got layers recently, and now I like don't know how to put my hair in a ponytail. I'm also, I usually braid it back. Oh. All right. Safety goggles. Like, oh, there we go. A little better. Okay, I know it's really easy to just be constantly putting your safety goggles up, but then you might forget to put them down. So just keep them down, and if that bothers you, then you probably don't have the right size safety goggles, or you don't have the right color nose bridge, so you don't like staring at it, or they're not clean enough. So just clean your safety goggles, and you won't feel inclined to do that. So now I'm looking super safe, hair is back, eyes are protected. This is a very quiet tool, so I don't need to protect my ears. Um, Let's get started. So I'm going to start by putting on the drill bit for the biggest star that we have here. And oops. get that. All right, now let's get started. All right, so now I'm going to go through and do all of the big stars, and then we'll move to the next size bit. I'm going to go down a size. Down another drill size. As soon as you're done drilling those holes, you can take your paper guide off. So I'm going to go ahead and pull those off. And now we're left with this beautiful Hercules. Yay, so now we have our beautiful constellation all ready to go. Um, so the next thing we're gonna do is screw on these corner mounts. So these are just corner blocks. They're kind of roughly cut and we're just gonna put them um, here so that we can tuck Christmas lights inside of our 
little display. If you're nervous about putting the screw in, you can do a pilot hole first, and that basically just means you're gonna put a teeny tiny hole where the screw is gonna go. And so you can just like, dip that into your material. So this was the little bit we used for the really tiny stars. Um, I'm gonna change that out to a Phillips head so that we can get these screws going. I don't know who Philip was. You know who Philip was? Because flat is definitely not a dude. What I always do is put the screw onto the bit like such and then dip it down and find that hole. And now make sure your drill is going in the right direction and just gently. If you're having problems, adding pressure here is generally a good way to go. If you're using this hand, sometimes I dip my shoulder onto that like that. Each time you drill a hole, you're gonna to wanna to reline up your block because things that spin cause other things to spin. So you're gonna get your block turning like that. All right, now we've got this, it's all screwed on. I'm gonna go spray paint it black and we'll be back in a second. gonna get to see it for the first time. Actually, you're gonna get to see it before I get to see it. So I'm just gonna turn off the light. You can see the big holes, you can see the little holes, you can see all the other things that we did. You're a god now, Hercules. <laughs> 